Hello everyone, welcome to MSA's continuing coverage of WPIAL Championship Saturday. We're live in the press box at Heinz Field right now where tomorrow four WPIAL Championships is going to be decided. Right now, Josh, let's talk about that Quad A game. Going to be a monster game, two fabulous defenses, two teams that really like to pound the football, the Woodland Hills Wolverines and the unbeaten Central Catholic Vikings. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, two great teams, two teams that won, and Central Catholic has been solid all year long. A tough start for Woodland Hills. Remember, they lost their first two games of the season, but since then have really come on late. They've been playing fantastic football, especially here in the postseason, a big semifinal win over Upper St. Clair for the second year in a row. And this game, there's no doubt about it, is going to be decided in the trenches especially on the Central Catholic side. That is their bread and butter, just pounding the football at will. I saw them last week in the semifinals. All you need to know is they had eight offensive drives. All eight of them started on Penn Trafford's side of the field, and that's an Aquatic semifinal, an unbelievable stat. They're starting running back all year. Luigi Lista Brinza has been banged up. Thoughts are, though, that he will play in this football game if he doesn't or if he can't go at full strength. Riley Redmond right behind him, he's a good one as well. Yeah, Lista Brenza has over 1,200 yards this year. He has 15 touchdowns, but Riley Redmond has had to fill in at times. Lista Brenza's had an ongoing ankle injury for the last two years now, and Redmond has come on to run for over 1,000 yards this year. He scored double-digit touchdowns. He's a threat for them, and don't forget... They have a quarterback that's going to Florida State next year in J.J. Cosentino. He doesn't have to do much, and that's why you don't hear a lot about him. He's only thrown the ball 66 times this year, but if they need him in this game tomorrow, he's going to be there for them. George Novak's team can run the football as well. Their quarterback, great on his feet. Harry Randall, and they have a sophomore running back in Miles Sanders, who's back and now seemingly at full strength. Yeah, and Sanders already has offers from Pitt and Michigan, he said this week. And he is back. He has been battling injuries. And that's one of the underlying stories in this is running backs battling injuries. But Sanders has been great. He's rushed for over 1,000 yards this year. And you mentioned Harry Randall. I think that's going to be the key to this game. I'm not sure Central has faced a defense or excuse me, an offense this year that has a quarterback as mobile as Harry Randall is. When the play breaks down and that big front and the linebackers of Central are getting in the backfield because you know they will, can Harry Randall make enough plays? If he can, Woodland Hills has a chance to win this football game. You're right, Central may have not faced an offense like Woodland Hills, but Woodland Hills has definitely not faced a linebacker like Nico Thorpe. How about this number? These two quarterbacks combined have attempted one fewer pass all season long then Brett Brumbaugh, the quarterback for the South Bay Lions in the AA game, has completed all season long. We'll have a call for you here on the MSA Sports Network.